Hey guys, so we got another 10 and then she's gonna leave and I'm gonna finish opening all hers without her. I don't know how many more there is. <laughs> Probably at least another 10 if not more. So some of these I think you might have already seen in my video of the one she bought me. I'm not sure though. We'll start with this, mm -hmm. which I was very uncertain of because look how many cats there are in a 30 by 40. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so you have reds and purples and oranges, yellows, blues, creams, pinks, and a green. Sorry. Alright. I, again, I have no idea how well this is going to look done because all these different colors back here. You have two cats and two shoes here, two cats and a heel there. I don't know what these two cats are on. This cat here and this cat here. <laughs> like, and it's only a 30 by 40 with that many faces in there. But it actually looks like they gave most of them eyes. Oh. <sighs> you see the eyeballs in all of them. I'm having trouble. The paintings aren't agreeing with me. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I've had 30 by 40s with bigger images of animals on them and they don't have eyes. It's like, why? Like, I think their, wolf, their eyes stand out more than the wolf eyes did on that other picture. There was only two wolves in that picture and they were close up. <laughs> This one, you can see the two whole cat bodies and they still look like they maybe gave them eyes. It looks like it should be extremely colorful, but it really is only 25 colors. It's not any more colorful than any of your other, you know, most 30 by 40s do have around that amount of colors. So it's just that they pick such drastic differences in the color. And this one does have dummy circles, so it actually should look a little bit better finished than it looks now. Look at that. Yeah. All right, what do we have here? Is this another? Yep. Oh, I really liked his eyes. So this one I opened already. I really liked his eyes. Very mad wolf mountain. And we have blacks and blues, reds, grays, nothing too out of the normal for it. All right, so these eyes though, don't those just stand out like crazy? And then these Fs stand out quite a bit, so I hope they match in a little bit better once the drills are on them. And again, <coughs> huh. Some of the stick is on the mm -mm. top. It's still sticky on here, okay. so, but there's stick here. As so long as it's just right there and not the whole canvas. So, mm. Someone's getting, someone's finger could have been stuck to it. I don't know. Well, it peeled up pretty easy near the bottom, but there's definitely some mm. stick on here, but I still feel stick on the canvas, so I think we're good. So again, I think the top of his head that this is supposed to be like mountains, kind of like two pictures merged together. Interesting. It's a lot darker than I'd expect you to actually want to work on though, because it's like a almost a gray palette type painting. Yeah. And you don't like the dark colors, but you love your wolves, so. I love my wolves. And it's about the same colors and they don't have the brown though. Which, that's another thing. Your wolves have a lot of similar colors. Mm -hmm. Their their color palette is like five shades of brown, five mm -hmm. shades of gray. Like, yep. and you don't really care for all. Of them. <sighs> all right, so we have sixteen colors, letters and numbers. Look at those eyes, though. Those eyes just stare right at you. They pop out. Yeah, and that tongue, those angry teeth. That is not a wolf you would want to meet. <laughs> I think you'll like this one. This is one of your set. Yeah. 
your another like ox thing in a bath it looks like yep nice old wooden barrel bath i thought that was cool quite a few bags and then they do give you this nice thin four placer which you really should try one of those but you'd have to use you know that type pen for trying or get one of the pens to put that in but so we have reds, whites, orange, navy blue, creams, more blue. The wall behind the bathtub is very dark blue, but it's not like a navy dark blue. It's like this weird green blue dark blue. You're still doing all that white. All of this white. Mm -hmm. All color blocking. So if you were to use a multi-placer, you just plop, plop. <laughs> yeah, that's all going to be color blocking for the most part. There's a few little randoms in here, but very few. This side has a nice patch, but this all is color blocking other than... Do, do, do. <laughs> That's the other thing. Some people like color blocking where they can just, you know, use a multi-placer and get it done. Other people like having to switch colors all the time. Some people absolutely hate when you have to switch colors like eight times in one section. <laughs> I personally don't mind the graffiti. I don't mind changing my color out. But I do think I work on a bigger section when I have to change my color out. I'll just like rip half of this mm -hmm. off so that I don't have to switch as often. And go back over and do all the colors and fill them back in with the opposite colors. Yeah. Yeah. When I when I have graffiti ones, I like to work on whatever fits on my light pad. Mm -hmm. Fill in all that color and then put like my uh, release paper, parchment paper, anything over the canvas. Put it on the shelf and pull it all off again the next time, and work on the next color type thing. So I don't really change the color as often because I just work on larger patches. But, like, for this, I'd probably do this chunk of blue right here as one piece. And then I'd start working on him because it's like, oh, well, I have all this color out. I want to put a border for my hand to sit on. So I will do all of this, and then I'll start working on whatever stands out most in his face, which would probably be these yellow flowers here. So. And it might be a girl. I say he, but <laughs> we have 23 colors on this one. All numbers and letters again. The eyes are kind of covered with hair. Got like a bubble bath going though. Oh, this is your mother nature. Hopefully she looks better done. Yeah, I hope she looks better done. She looks quite hard to read like this. So hopefully she turns out like those raccoons because holy crap did that change. So there's a few bags. You got greens, browns, more greens and browns, and Should be a little bit of creams. Colors. It's pretty much all green and brown. Oh, quite a bit of white actually for what looks like not. Mm -hmm. And that is white. But yeah, it's it's almost all greens and browns. But I do see a color here that looks kind of like a skin color, which also might be mixed into the sky. And I think this brown might be her body color. So. Again, she's one you're not going to really know until you start working on it. I'm not so sure the facial details will turn out. But can you tell it's a person mm -hmm. kind of kneeling with trees growing? And her face isn't looking at you, so there's no eye or anything really to notice. Her hair kind of with the bark, you know. One of those ones that might turn out nicely or it might not turn out because it blends together <laughs> too much but it's another nice soft canvas very soft canvas <laughs> we got 25 colors but look at that they're pretty much all the same color. <laughs> well, there she is. You barely make the face out right there. That's what I'm saying is I don't know if your her face is going to show up as being there or not. 
But if you can see that she's kneeling here like this and kind of praying, I don't know. You'd have to work on it. Maybe cut this panel out and work on the middle panel up there. All right, this one. Oh, it's another one of your ox in a bath. You went on an ox hunt, huh? Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure about those colors. <laughs> Look at that. So again, you have the nice thin four placer and the squishy and quite a few bags. But he looks so yellow. And then almost see those as antenna right now. I see this black, but I don't see like the white above it, which it does look like there's white above it. So I just see it almost like he has antenna right now. Like he's trying to be a bug. <laughs> he's like a little yellow bug ox, like. So we got oranges and it's kind of a purpley color. Pinks and browns and whites. Kind of, I think, what you expect looking at that. Nothing as yellow as it looks, though. It looks like it's going to be more off colors, not like yellow like it looks like here. Pretty nice canvas just kind of laid flat for me oh. felt like I ran over an escape drill or something again dogs equal distractions that's okay they're worth the headache aren't they sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> 24 colors so again, his eyes pretty much covered by hair. I do believe that's going to be a little eyeball there, though. This one looks like it's in some sort of flower pot. I'm curious another what's with tin, this. Another big tin bad tub. Is it? I mean, what, what it looks like, it's another tin, like a big tin bad tub. The drill area looks clear, so... Now this one's another one that she bought me that I've opened as well, and she's going to totally agree with me on one thing with this one, I think. It's a 30 by 50, Holy. not a 30 by 40. And look at this. All it's of all this, I mean, like, some of its hair is coming down here, mm -hmm. but really, you could end the painting all the way up here, mm -hmm. and you could even cut this in a little bit. Like, why'd they make it a 30 by 50? This really looks like it was a 30 by 40, and they just filled in black on the bottom so we got reds and oranges and pinks a lot more pinks and oranges and greens a little bit of purple kind of fox like colors with red flowers and he looks like he has a nice little green eye in there mm -hmm. and again this is one that looks pretty dull but those colors don't look that dull so and I'm sorry about the dog. It just, it doesn't want to give up. It's in one of those moods. But since I have my mom here, I want to finish this. So you guys are just going to have the background noise. I leave here crying down. Yeah, you leave and he'll, he'll settle down or I'll go eat the dinner and then come back once he's settled down. Right now he's playing with his blankie. <laughs> he's in his kennel turning around and around with his blankie. So, I think this canvas should be brighter once the drills get on it. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of dull now, though. It doesn't have the dummy circles, which is nice. We have 24 colors. And again, all this down here just kind of... Why? And it does look like circles down here. But it doesn't really look like circles in the picture up here. So would you actually cut the black off the bottom of that painting if you were to do it so you have you don't have to do it all? Yeah, probably. See how it does. That's a pretty one. Isn't it pretty? So I have opened this one. You got this one for me as well. So 
again. Standard drill drill. You don't want to know how many of those drill kits I have sitting over there right now. I gave a lot of them to a lady for school. And that, so they could put the little beads and that in, or a little bit of paint, mm -hmm. or the paintbrush and that, different colors, so they could scrape the paintbrush across it and not have all that paint in a big dish and dip it mm -hmm. in. So. Did she appreciate them? Did yeah. she say they could use them? Yeah. Or? So we have creams. That's a really dark brown. Blues. Some more blues and blacks. Looks almost like a dark purple. Dark red. All these colors look like they're dark versions of the color. We got a lighter pink here. Some orange. They all look a little bit darker. He looks a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. So maybe he's the lighter. Very narrow muzzle. Do you notice? Mm -hmm. It's quite the narrow muzzle. <laughs> it doesn't really look off, but then at the same time, it kind of looks <laughs> off. Should have been a little bit fatter underneath this. Uh, yeah. I mean, it could just be the angle the head's at, or it could be that it's like a computer rendered one and it's not real. Certain ways it looks fine, other ways it looks like it could have used an extra row of white down here or something. Doesn't take away from it looking like a really pretty painting though. Mm -hmm. So we have 25 colors. Really nice little fox face there, and then you have like your flowers around it. Again, the letters look nice and clear so cute little fox flowers and we have three left for this portion like I said there's still a bag sitting next to me you got me this one as well but again it looks so dark plain kit but it doesn't look as dark here look how light those mm -hmm. yellows are look and that purple. is it a purple Giant. or pink and this isn't even quite navy blue, but almost navy blue. Bright colors. That's quite a bright pink mm -hmm. color, and the red, and then this is like a true bright purple. So again, this one I think is going to pop out so much more once you get yep. these drills on this canvas. Because this looks so dark, but none of this screams dark. And again, I think this is kind of an imaginary cat. Yeah. The canvas decided to close itself. And it's interesting background color pick. Like a light line. At least that's what it looks like on the canvas, what the drills look like, you know. Might be slightly different. I found normally these colors kind of match what the drills are supposed to look like, but then there's other times where they yeah. don't match at all. So we have 20 colors in this one. Cat with like flowers around him and on his ears. Is that supposed to be his paw or rock? <laughs> you liked it, so I got you one and got me one. All right, this looks like it might be another wolf one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's the cat I want in a big painting. They have this cat in like a 40 by 70 on another website. I really want it in that size. This actually looks pretty decent right now. I wonder how it'll look with the drills on it. But I really want this in like that 40 by 70 where the cat's nice and big. You can see the detail and all the stripes and stuff that way. They already know I like big paintings. I like more detail. And you like small paintings. So, 
brown, gray, cream, black, and some blues for your color palette. It does look so pretty, doesn't it? I really want it in the bigger size, though. Alright, so. I'm afraid it's little heads, kind of. I think his head's going to get washed out, maybe. That's what I'm saying, which is part of why I want it in a bigger canvas. I want that eye to be as big as that. <laughs> the eyes are like two a little Yeah, dots it's like two done. dots or something, yeah. And all the stripes are like a zigot mm -hmm. pattern where it's like one skip one or something to try to make up that pattern. That's why I told you I wasn't interested in this in this size. I really love the image. I just... <clears throat> yeah. Those little creases like that in the plastic really aren't a big deal. I like making them lay flat, but those little creases like that actually aren't going to be a big deal. It's these stupid little air pockets that try to get stuck under there. So, you got this tree with the moon, the pretty white tiger. You got 21 colors on this guy. And he's standing on like a rock or a tree limb. Might be a tree limb of that same tree actually back there. Really is a pretty image. Whether or not it works in this size diamond painting. You can show it. Alright, so this one she got as a gift for somebody. Little baby in somebody's arms. A lot, a lot of almost the same looking color based off of that part, but you got creams. There's a little bit of weird green here. Again, they're using like a green in this yeah. shadowing. There's like kind of a purple, white, not really bad for human colors. And this is graffiti. This is not color blocking here. You have... Y's and I's just randomly splattered throughout the place on that. I think there's something stuck on the canvas. I think this is something on the canvas. Alright, so. Yeah, it's something stuck on the canvas. That's something stuck on the canvas. No, it's still sticky. It's probably like they could cover, cover it up with the other stuff, you know? It, it's almost like the glue burnt in that area. Like it's like burnt glue. So long to cover it up. I think it should hold. It's, okay. it's a little iffy. If it doesn't hold, you can put a little piece of double sided tape on it mm -hmm. or get some more glue to put on right. it for those two drills because it's like two drills right here but yeah there's might as well flatten it out flatten it then curve it back up back up no oh, i just gave it to a flatten out oh i thought you wanted me to roll it back up okay i just gave it to a flatten out all right so we had to do some investigating it looks like Almost like it's actually burnt glue to me on this canvas. It kind of is like sticky. It looks, you know, almost like you'd get wax from your pen stuck on. But when I was pulling at it, it didn't look like there was any actual glue under it. So it almost looks like it's a very tiny burnt spot or something. You got the little baby in the hands. It has 20 colors, if you can believe it, based off of that. It's... And, oh, they actually put the name on in a sticker on this one. So. Cream colors, brownish colors with some purples and greenish colors. So it's mostly what you would expect for a human color. And that's that one. Alright. So I took this down to show her. You guys want to see what a bunch of diamond painting stuff looks like? These are all the diamond paintings I opened in some of my last Timu videos. And these are all the green boats. Hey! So these are all the stacks of green boats. 
and the few white boats, little squishies, all the extra heads that came with them, the wax. all the pins <laughs> so that's what a bunch of diamond paintings look like once you take all of their kits out and sort them oh actually there's another piece you have all the big bags that the pins and stuff came in the small bags that they gave you as extra with the kits <laughs> so yeah that's what a lot of diamond paintings will do to you so anyway sorry about that little intermission we got the tiger, this little cat, which it might be a type of tiger, the cute fox, the bigger fox, the ox, the little mother nature tree, another ox, a wolf, and the like rainbow shoe cats. So that's that for this video. Again, I still have at least another video or two worth of paintings left to open, but I am gonna go eat, possibly do some other things, and then maybe get back to those today, maybe get back to them tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my mom looking at them with me. She was pretty quiet and wanting to just kinda hide over there but she told you guys a few things and maybe we had some interesting conversations having her here for an opinion on stuff 